The search for meaning? You seek some justification for your existence? Yeah, from someone. If possible, from someone important to you. Why? You're already alive. You don't need any justification for that. No? I think that we live day to day by supporting, cooperating, and encouraging each other. When things are tough, and we're lonely or down, we remember friendly faces. That's how we can bear it. Indeed. Because those precious to me are doing their best, I feel that I can do the same. I believe no one lives their life alone. Alone? Don't worry, I'm, I'm here, here with, with you. you. You're not alone. Not alone. To compensate, none of you or Ray would have existed from the start. The scales would thus be balanced. No one will remember that any of you were ever alive. We'd never have existed. That's correct. It will be made so that you were never born to begin with. What'll happen if the sealed Kronos wakes up? He'll assimilate me. He'll return to his original complete state and erase this world along with Ray. And all of you were also bait. Bait? When my memories returned, I was supposed to erase Ray and this world. But you haven't done that, right? No. Changed? Me? You've changed, but you may not realize it. That alone means there's a wrench in Kronos' plan. To hell with that guy acting all high and mighty like a god. I don't really get it, but we just have to beat him and it's done, right? Right. The option of backing down never entered our minds. Everyone. Even if us coming here was part of someone's grand plan, it doesn't matter. I'm glad we came. I've gained tons more companions for one thing. Yeah, there's no need for you to feel responsible after all we've been through, Zenkun. Zenkun. What you must do hasn't changed. Please speak to Raison. Yes. All right, let's go. Woohoo! This bear's gonna bust out my special owl punches! A bear and also an owl? <gasps> Teddy, are you going to become an owl bear? Whoa, what are you talking about? Hey, what do you think about Kanji? Yeah, I've always treated him as our underclassman. But I thought I learned a lot from him during this. You heard what he said to Ken, right? He said you're free to think what you want. No one has the answers for you, so think for yourself. No matter how much oppression he's facing, he always does his best to stand up against it by himself. I felt like what he said to Ken really got across that true inner strength of his. I didn't know he always thought about things that way. Then again, it's not just Kanji. Risa and Naoto are younger too, but I feel like they're way stronger than me. Chie and Yukiko never back down from what they believe in. And whatever Teddy says, he's a good guy. After he heard about Rei-chan, he was off crying by himself. Say, what are you crying for? It's the way you're saying this. It's all wrong. Hey, that's mean. I don't want you saying such nice things. I don't like it because it sounds like you're about to die. Huh? Sorry, that's not how I meant it. You gotta be laughing like an idiot all the time, Yosuke-senpai. It helps everyone relax when they hear you laughing things off. That's why, when things are no laughing matter, you need to keep laughing like an idiot. Then we can all do our best. So you can laugh like an idiot from the bottom of your heart. Right. By the way, you're leaning pretty hard on the laugh like an idiot thing. I'm not that reckless. 
Hello? Damn it, she cut the comb off. Hey, partner. Is she right about me always laughing like an idiot? What? Hey, do you understand the idea of context? Where the hell did that come from? Man, Reese is such a nice girl. She's got a keen eye, but you don't get nervous when she trains it on you. Hey, maybe what's good about me is that I'm blessed with the friends I have. Anyway, I'm gonna do my best to be someone I can be proud of around those guys. Let's go, partner. The culture festival here was an imaginary world that Ray Chan wished for, right? I can kind of understand Ray Chan's desire to make this place. Going somewhere that's not real, hoping someone will save you. I wanted that for a long time, too. Yukiko! The meaning of life and death are too heavy for me. I didn't know what I could say to help her. But I refused to believe there was no meaning in Rei-chan's life. Everyone helped me out, and I want to repay that by helping Rei-chan out when she's sad. Then again, I guess it's presumptuous to say this when I always need help from you, Chie. Hey, that's not true. I think you're plenty strong, Yukiko. You've helped me out, too. Huh? I really can't deal with scary stuff. Remember how I flipped out about that FOE in the haunted house? It was so dark that I couldn't see anything. And I was so scared that I seriously thought I might die. But you took my hand and guided me, Yukiko. Oh, no, that wasn't anything much. It was to me. If you hadn't taken my hand, I don't think I could have walked a single step. Chie. So there are ways that even I can protect you. There's tons of stuff like that. You help me out with stuff I'm bad at, and I help you out when you're in trouble. I think that's the way to go. I wanted to always look out for you, but I realized it's nice to have someone looking out for me, too. Yep, that's what friends are for. It's not about one side protecting or being protected. I guess you'd call it an even footing. Of course, I still want to look out for Yukiko and everyone. That won't change. But I want to trust more that they're looking out for me, too. Chie, I feel like you've matured. Huh? Really? Mm-hmm. And maybe I have, too. Not long ago, I wouldn't have wanted you to change. I would have been lonely if you did. But now, it makes me happy. Everyone slowly changes, but that just means we're growing. I want to grow together with everyone and be at their sides to see how they change. Hmm. In that case, I hope we stay friends forever and ever. Mm-hmm. Me too. Well then, let's get started putting our efforts together. Time to go save Rachel! <laughs> yeah! This may be impolitic to say, given Zenku and Reisan's circumstances, but I took away a great deal from meeting the Gekko Khan High students. It surprised me to learn that the Kirijo group had been pursuing the Apathy Syndrome case in secret. But what made a stronger impact on me was the way Mitsuru-san took command of the situation. It's true! That sultry, mature aura pouring off of Michan made quite an impact on me, too! No, I meant her mindset, her whole approach to life. Though we are about the same age, she is trying to accomplish something great through her own convictions. Not only that, she's doing it as a woman. The oppression I felt when dealing with the police is minuscule compared to what she's facing. Yes threw my own naivete into sharp relief, acting tough because I don't want to be treated lightly as a woman. In a way, that was only an excuse of mine. I resisted more than necessary because part of me thought, it's only natural for women to be treated lightly. I said some things to Kanji-kun at the Inaba Pride exhibit, 
about not forcing himself into a box. But actually, I sensed something amiss within me. Though of course I felt that way. My view of myself was more biased than anyone else's after all. What happened here was a good opportunity to realize that aspect of myself exists. Even though it may only be a little at a time, I hope to continue changing from here on. Uh, even though Michon is a superwoman, sometimes she pushes herself too hard. She seems like she's gonna get crushed by her burdens. And it's sad to watch. Teddy, that's more kind-hearted than I had expected. You didn't need to add that last part. I think about things too, you know. Even I have something to say. Is that so? decided at this moment that I am going to graduate from being merely an adorable bear. Well then, we should get going. Wait, at least hear me out. I was only an adorable mascot until now. I've started to think that's not enough. That's why I've decided to make myself a manly mascot too. Is this Koromaro kuns influence I detect? Oh, I was hoping no one would notice, but that's right. To be honest, I didn't think much of him at first. I thought he was just an ordinary mutt. But how would an ordinary mutt be that good at seizing the girl's hearts? What I finally figured out is, it's his manliness. That reminds me. When you almost failed to escape the bathroom, it was him who dragged you to safety. That's right. It made even my heart skip a beat. Anyway, if I can be adorable and manly, it'll be an invincible combo to drive the girls wild! Your questionable objective aside, I think it's a good thing that you're trying to grow. We can thank our meeting with those who gave us this opportunity for that. <laughs> Why are you saying that to me? Or... Do you mean to say something in you has changed because of me? I suppose that could be possible. We're so close to each other, so it stands to reason we affect each other as well. So I'm going to continue staying at Yosuke's place and honing my teddiness. I won't rest until I've reached the rank of meat director at Juness. Oh, so you're not aiming to become completely independent. I'm sorry. I was explaining the gimmick from before. Gimmick? I know what that is. It's a fake treasure box. That's a mimic. Oh, uh, uh well, I, I knew that. A gimmick is the secret to how something works. There was a time I was a bit into uh, magic tricks, which is where I learned the word. Magic tricks? 
Wow, that's cool. Can you show us one? Huh? Uh, well, that's... I can do one! A one, a two, and a three! Presto! No matter how many times you see it, though, I'm still a pretty boy. That spell can never be broken. Naoto-kun really is good with her hands, though. She changed my watch battery and even fixed my umbrella. You can say the same thing about Kanji, then. Have you ever seen his knitted dolls? Even their clothes are handmade. It's some next-level work. Ah, come on. Though they are impressive, I guess. Thinking about it that way, Naoto-kun and Kanji-kun might have a lot in common. Uh-huh. Kanji-kun and myself are... Oh, oh, I think I get it. They're good with their hands, but totally awkward in every other way. Every other way? Mm-hmm, that's right. You two are very similar. But, well, that's... I doubt Naoto would agree. On the contrary. I can't tell for myself. But if everyone else says so, who am I to argue? When I'm with you all... I always see a different side of myself. And somehow, it's never as distasteful as I might expect. It's quite mysterious. Hmm? I don't think it's so strange. That's what being companions is all about. It is? I don't think just getting along and having conversations makes you companions. Then again, just gathering for a common goal doesn't seem to do the trick either. Hmm. Wait, you don't get it either? What makes people companions varies from person to person, no? For me, companions are the ones who help to pull me up. That's why I try to be someone who can pull everyone else up, too. Nosuke-senpai. If you find something about yourself that you like, isn't that because you have companions with you? You wouldn't ever find anything new about yourself alone, after all. Which means everyone else is causing changes in me. Seeing it that way is exciting. It makes me wonder how I've changed and how I might continue to do so. <laughs> yes, I look forward to watching you change as well, Senpai. Hmm. You are alive. That's why you can change. Zenkun? Change is such a beautiful thing. Yes, I believe so as well. Life is beautiful. <sighs> we should get going again. Ray-chan's waiting for us. Yes! Oh, senpai!
Is that so? Well, uh... Uh, um... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Senpai. I think it's the next floor up. I'm getting a reading of that spider-like shadow. So, above us is the top of the tower. <sighs> What's wrong? I was thinking about what to say to Ray. Will I be able to give her a reason why she lived? I've never lived myself. Do I even have the correct answer? Yeah, I think so too. I don't think what you say is what matters. It's your feelings that go into it. Feelings? Come on, you're not trying to get across any particular words, but how you feel. If you feel Ray is important to you, and it doesn't matter what words you use to say it. That's something I learned from Yukiko-senpai and the others. My feelings. After watching you all here, I've come to understand something. To live is to change. Your encounters with others changes you. This is true for Kanji, Ken, and even myself. We all changed because we met each other. Yeah, you're probably right. Even the smallest interaction is part of a great flow passed from person to person. We all affect each other, and things change naturally. That is how the world works, which means one's life is not merely one's own problem. Living changes those around you, who in turn change you. That's why one's life is by no means only your own. Your life isn't just your own. Ray cried because she wanted meaning in her life. I couldn't give her that. But I see it differently now. The fact that Ray lived was itself the meaning in her life. To live is the duty of those who are given life. What do you think? This is just what I think. It's not the only answer, I am sure. But if you agree, then I feel as if I've been saved. I wonder why. I believe that there is a meaning for everyone. You've changed someone too. You're being kept alive by someone else. I choose to believe that this is the reason why you've lived. Then again, I shouldn't arbitrarily decide your meaning for you. Thank you. I must have been the one who called you here. Not as Kronos' pawns, but to help me. This is what I believe. Had I not met you, I couldn't have realized my own weakness, or truly saved Ray. Meeting you all was my destiny, and my salvation. Dude, you've become a real man! A real man? I don't understand, but I like the sound of it. Turning tail and running after making it this far. I don't care if you're a god or what. I'm gonna leave footprints all over you. Mm-hmm. That goes double for me. I won't back down either. For Ray-san, for Zen-kun, for all of us. 
Raychon, just hang in there. We'll save you soon enough. Everyone. Yes. Hmm. I'm weak, but that weakness has taught me much. That I've been running away the feelings I believe. Our enemy now. I will. You. Great. Here it comes! You have to win this no matter what! No, seriously, whatever it takes! Save Rachon! It's just a little, but Kronos is losing health! He's as tough as you'd expect! We've changed too! Zenkun, Rachon, everyone from Yasogami High, they've all become precious to us! That's right! That's why we're here! Rachon and Zenkun are one of us! Meeting them has changed us, and vice versa. That's what life is about. I protect people. That's my thing. What's the point in being strong if I ain't willing to do that? We've also changed by coming to this world. That is why we stand here, and that is why we will fight you. Kronos, do you understand what you were lacking? I didn't have it until now either. The power in a fleeting life. The beauty it holds. Do you see? They have taught me much. And so, I am here to defeat you and negate myself. I will save Rey. That is the duty I have undertaken. Of my own will. Vice Leader, your counter's at one! Ugh, I'm already at one! the sky knew when to take a hint. Guess like it's better at that than Akihiko-senpai. Well, at least I'm better than that Teddy. Oh my! You're really saying that, Aki? Seriously? I always know when to take a hint. I'm a super mood sensor. So, you're like a mood ring. <laughs> you're laughing about that's it the champion in the decisive battle to be the worst at sensing the mood is yukiko amagi huh champion what did i win <laughs> <laughs> great job guys you'll be glad to know the shadow readings are gone from the school all right well done leader Uh, not really. I was vice leader, but I didn't do much to support you. What I'm feeling right now... This must be loneliness. It's time to say our farewells. Of course! There were actually some displays I wanted to check out. Oh, right! You haven't been in any of them! That's right! I was stuck in the Velvet Room all this time, you know? Looks like there aren't any more shadows around, so I want to go see the sights with everyone. Oh, Senpai, do you remember our promise to go through the Haunted House together? Just you and me? Right, right! The promise to go back through the displays with everyone, yeah? Well then, let's get going! Hey! Jeez.
it seems the shadows have indeed completely disappeared. <gasps> Wouldn't this be the perfect opportunity to hold the vaunted group date I've heard about? Oh, so you wanted to do it too? Yes. Teddy explained to me how fierce tactics are employed to find one's destined partner. As a man myself, I, of course, cannot help but try my hand at such a grand competition. Theo, if you desire it that deeply, then Margaret and I will hold a group date battle just for you. There will be no holding back. Let's group date with all our strength! What's the deal, Yosuke? You're being awful quiet about this. You say something then. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do about Yukiko right now. Huh? Yukiko? What is it? I've got too much dignity to fall for that. So you're just going to leave her be? Um, I've been wondering something. Does this place have nothing to do with the group date cafe you held at our culture festival? There don't seem to be any similarities to it beside the name. In a way, there is. These displays were born of Ray's emotions. Altered? Come to think of it, why was this place based on a culture festival? It was a ceremonial ritual for the repose of souls, no? Yes, that's right. I based this world on Ray. So that's why a festival was chosen. Is the very different direction of this festival also because it underwent alterations? Ray's memories and fantasies changed because she met you. That's why the world changed. So things changed as a result of our meeting, just like Zensan said. Um, was it fun? I'm glad to hear that. This is also a reason for me to exist, isn't it? Well then, up next is Chie-chan's favorite place. What favorite? Oh, don't tell me! Don't worry, I'll protect you. Come on, man, where's your comeback? That's exactly what she wants. Hell if I'm playing into her hands. Looks like there aren't any more shadows around, so I bet even you'll be fine now, Chie-chan. What do you mean, even me? Oh, I've been totally fine this whole time! What are those pale things behind you, Chie? <gasps> About 800 of them. That many? No! She said there's 800 of them! I'm so scared, Senpai! Hey, what are you so scared of? Do you seriously think some ghosts are gonna pop up? Oh. Ray's name be from the word for ghost? Huh? No. Then what's it mean? I won't tell you. Hmm. Thought it would have made for a good rhyme. Oh, um, Marie? Can you teach me how to write poems? Huh? What are you talking about? Poetry isn't taught. The words are supposed to just flow naturally. Huh? That's so cool! Interesting. Words flowing naturally from the mind. That's quite deep. Yes, deep indeed. Too deep for me. Hey, what are you listening to us for? Come on, let's go to the next one, pronto. According to my data, it says that you beg Yosuke-san for ice cream every day, Teddy-san. In other words, you are an ice detective. Ooh, nice spin on ace detective, Ai-chan. Ace Detective. Let me try! Ice Detective! Like this? Oh man, that's new! <laughs> that is so lame! You shouldn't laugh! <laughs> man, it's finally starting to sink in. It really is over. Yeah, you're right. It's gonna be a shame to part with the friends we made, though. But I'm sure we'll meet again, right? It 
It seems the time has come. Everyone, please say your farewells. This place will soon collapse and return to nothing. What happened in this world will be but a dream, destined to vanish by tomorrow. From within you as well. Are you saying that our memories will disappear? This world does not exist in the normal flow of time. That is why what was impossible became possible. But those rules won't apply once we step outside. The memories formed here cannot be taken back to your worlds. No way! That can't be! You are free to believe that, but... But we were getting to know each other so well! Risei-chan, still, I don't think it'll be like we never met. I'm glad that I met all of you. I'm sure that everyone feels that way too. We became friends and companions. And feelings like that get sealed in the depths of our hearts. That's why, even if we lose our memories, I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah. That's what I think, too. Experiences can't be taken away. That's why no one can take yourself away. Never. If our meetings have changed us, then those changes cannot be undone, even if you don't have the memories of the meeting itself. Yes, I believe so as well. Ken. Let's go back, Shinjiro-san. You're not alone, after all. Yeah, you're right. I... I had a lot of fun. Thank you so much. Thank... No, thank you. I'm so glad we met. Rachel. Then good. Bye. Once we leave here, it's back to battle for each of us. We both have things we need to finish up. Take care. It seems the chain of events here has reached its conclusion. Wherever there are beginnings, there are ends. That is the providence of the world. These ends come for new beginnings to be born. Till the cycle returns to where it started. Well then, until we meet again. <laughs>